when we think of women within the development mode and women as new agencies there is a lot of difference between the two things because traditionally women were looked at as victims and the society was supposed to uplift them no longer do we look at women in this fashion because at least some of us within women's studies feel that women's studies or women's movements have nothing to do only with women's problems in fact it is a new perception of the world because even great philosophers have never thought of this illogical behavior on their part that they were talking of half the world and saying that we are giving you universal truths so when women began thinking they had a say on everything so in this age when we look at women she is a thinking active dynamic agency so it's not that somebody is giving her freedom somebody is giving her new way she is thinking a new about the world so we have women's point of view on history on philosophy and so in this age when we think of women there is another ploy used by the governmental agencies most of the world in even now the governments and the party politics are patriarchal and because they are patriarchal they look at women from that point of view in india for instance we use the word empowerment and the government is supposed to give empowerment to women empowerment is something which comes from within nobody can give it to somebody so this breakage of point of view has to be taken into account on the other hand when women got education everybody did not receive it in the same fashion there was a group of women who received education and they looked at it as a career furtherment instrument while they were women who were really enlightened because of education now today when we are looking at i'll uh, just jump my point today we when we are looking at the current situation i know there are women who say that we don't need feminism now that was a thing of bygone year why do they say it because they feel that because they are with the management cadre with the corporate world they have achieved something which is like men and they see it as their furtherment while we say that being like men is not something we were looking for when we talked about feminism so this is this mindset has to be looked into when we are talking of women's problem now when we think of the corporate world and especially after 91 the new economic age came in and it started using women as a thing something to be marketed and women some women i'm not uh, saying that every woman but some women thought that receiving this men's gaze is something which furthers their career and so they misconstrued this as development on the other hand we know that even in the man's world some people look at development in terms of things things like fly or fly over smalls getting big fat pay when we talk of development within our movement we are looking 
for the qualitative change in everybody's life. He might be in a palace, he might be in a juggi jhopri, but the quality of life has to change with development. On the other hand, we say that this kind of development which we see in last 10 years, it has not only reduced human beings to things, but the old idea within welfare state where everybody was supposed to get equal opportunity or at least approximate opportunity, today even a middle class person cannot educate his son or daughter because the fees have gone so much. I mean, I remember when I was a lecturer, a woman who used to sell vegetables in a gully, her daughter came to our college and became a doctor. That was possible that time. But with today's norms, we know that in the medical application line, we see bank agents loitering around to give loans. So it is taken for granted that if you want to educate yourself or your son or daughter, you have to draw loan from the bank. With, when we talk of women, we talk of violence against women and we talk about women within violence. In last six or seven years we have seen, why six or seven, right from Bosnia we have seen that women have been part of the very vicious communal rights. So we were talking, discussing, analyzing caste and gender. Now we see attacks on caste, on women, but the caste and gender thing has become more and more complicated. When we think about recent attacks on women, from three years, sometimes even lesser than then, from three years, last week it was 90-year woman who was attacked and raped. So what is happening to our men folk where such heinous attacks are happening? These crimes to me do not look only as sexual attacks. They look as attacks by caste prejudice, by jealousy about women's progress, so that a woman who has a boyfriend and she is going somewhere to serve has been attacked. So while we think of development, we have to break the idea of development into many parts and look at it anew. Women have to again look into what is it that they want to achieve when they say that I am a free person, what is that freedom? And lastly, I would say that we are on the platform of the alliance of movements. There was a time when women clung to the idea of voluntary organizations. They did not take part with the politics beyond their own circle, now they have realized that women politics takes into consideration environment, violence, politics, and economics. So when we think today of women and development, we have to take into all these things. Thank you very much.